And that's why I said earlier that let's have as many parties as possible, but we need to graduate from that to have issue-based formations or parties. Um, and, and I like the, 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 the other option of the independence. Um, and it calls for really a, a genuine heart within the leaders when you are saying democracy is for the people, of the people, by the people, mm -hmm. you need to respect mm -hmm. the, the choice of, of the people. Mm -hmm. But what usually happens is because the party needs support, money, then the rich, the more influential, the person who was supporting the party mm -hmm. is rewarded with that nomination uh, certificate. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, uh, but when people have uh, their, their objectives in whatever they are doing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's why we're saying that let all parties be considered going forward. We need to think hard as a country uh, on how do we facilitate all these uh, small parties so that they become avenues of public participation, public engagement, even if they don't win, you know, uh, a seat in mm. the National Assembly or the mm. County Assembly, yeah. let them be facilitated mm. to undertake some, you know, engagements with elected leaders. Mm -hmm. Let them be, you know, schools of developing future leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy to register a party. It's so, I mean, hats off to anyone who has registered a party. Yeah. It's a hard thing. It's a difficult thing. It's a difficult thing. So